I am so excited to finally share my hair routine with you guys. This is for curly or wavy hair. I also have a dandruff prone scalp so I'll be sharing some tips on that as well. First thing I do in the shower is use Naughty's Caretaker Scalp Soothing Shampoo and this is for dandruff so I use a scalp brush with this to really get in there and scrub my scalp and make sure everything is all clean before I use Fafa's Gain Shampoo. This is a little bit more hydrating so I use this on my ends. And then I use Nature's Essence Scalp Balancer Balm. This is for dandruff and itchy scalp. And I have found that since using this, I don't scratch as much because it's not as itchy. And so after I put this in, I sort of massage it into my scalp before moving on to using one of these three hair masks. Recently, I started using hair masks every time I wash my hair instead of using conditioner and I have found that it makes a huge difference. So after I've worked that in through all of my hair, I clip it up so that I can continue with the rest of my shower routine without it getting in the way. So after I am out of the shower, first I use a wide tooth comb to brush through my hair and make sure that there are no knots or tangles. And then after this, for my dandruff as well, I use Nature's Essence Anti-Dandruff Tonic. Um, I just spray this on parts of my scalp that tend to get itchy and get dandruff and I do find that this helps quite a lot as well. Now onto my favorite product, this is Scrunch Kids Hair Calmer. I know it says it's for kids but it works incredibly for my hair. It is by a local Malaysian brand and basically as the name suggests, I scrunch, scrunch, scrunch it into my hair and this helps to just create more defined curls. And after I've scrunched it in everywhere, I also like to take a few strands on the outer sides of my hair and twirl them around my finger like so and it creates these really nice ringlets um, and I just think that it looks really pretty after it's dried so that's what I've always done. And after you do that, what I like to do is put my hair into a microfiber hair wrap towel because my hair is still quite wet and I feel that using this for just 10 or 15 minutes after I get out of the shower, it helps to dry my hair enough and helps to keep my curls looking good as well. So while that is on, I proceed to the rest of my skincare routine or whatever else I need to do in the morning and sort of wait for my hair to get a little bit more dry. Um, yeah, and so now it's been about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm taking off the hair towel. And my hair is still damp as you can see but it's no longer dripping wet and so at this point I like to shape my hair and basically th what that means is I use my fingers to kind of shape my hair into the shape I want it to be when it dries. Um, it's especially important because I have bangs so I just sort of sort all of that out, scrunch it a little bit more and then I let nature do its thing and let my hair air dry. Um, air drying tends to give me the best curls with the least amount of frizz and as you can see this is the finished product. Once it dries, I like to shake it out like you saw in the video and those are... that's what my hair looks like after. Um, another way that I like to do my hair when I'm in a rush, as we will get to... <laughs> um, another way I like to do my hair when I'm in a rush is using a diffuser attached to a hair dryer. You can get hair dryers like this everywhere. But basically, with the diffuser, I kind of dry my hair like so. Um, just sort of holding it in each place while scrunching up my hair. And this gives me quite defined curls as well. And this is what it looks like when it's sort of almost dry. Um, usually, I let it air dry at that point. But yeah, that's my hair routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> See you guys next video.